oh my god i can't keep up with this fine looking mama is that me are you karina oh my god you look so says it's yet another beautiful sunday and i'm just indoors looking those this fine so it's so sunny outside i'm yet to step out but i feel like there's a good energy going on so i'm just going to open the windows to my bedroom right now so that i can allow some fresh air to run in so today's video i'm going to be giving my bedroom just a little tiny bit of makeover so my walls as you can see on my bed so here's my bed i've not even made my bed yet because i still do that i need to change my bedding so but the walls next to my bed they're so pretty much very empty just all around actually the items that i have in my bed is just my bed my storage and my wardrobe right behind me and then i have a very big mirror right there so let me give you a glimpse of how my bedroom looks so here's the door to the bedroom and then when you come right ahead there's my bed right there i love blue that's why i have a blue bed blue sheets and blue curtains i can be excess but i know i love blue i even have a blue suitcase oh my god so and then i have my wardrobe right there and then on this side anyway this is just like going next to the sitting room there and then i have on this other side a very big mirror right there my storage i store stuff there like i do my makeup there my shoes there and other stuff there and then my laundry basket and that's all so i'm just thinking of like putting some ads on that wall right next to my bed and then put this mirror somewhere more strategic than here so that i can have the, those mirror selfies with good lighting and then just like i'm not doing much but i just wanted to like uh, mainly the main thing that i want to do is like uh, the world i have to deal with it because it's too plain i was also supposed to get like uh, those uh hanging light that i have in my sitting room but it's yet to come i ordered it from nairobi but it, they said it's going to get here tomorrow so and other deco stuff that i'm going to also receive uh, tomorrow so i might have to film this uh, post this video in segments of in different days but anyway as long as you achieve what you're looking for it doesn't matter how long it takes so in the meantime i have those picture frames that i got and then i got the pictures uh printed out and i need to go and uh, fix them into the frames and that's what you're going to do i'll also show you other items that i got yesterday for this project too so let's go let me show you everything i got from the market so i'll start with these picture ads that i got uh, printed out at a cyber so i have this one which is an aesthetic one i have this one that says uh, good things take time i know you can't read it right because i'm filming from my selfie camera and then i have this that says may every sunrise bring you hope may every sunset bring you peace and then there is another aesthetic one and then this one is just a, a black feather so i'm going to fit these ones in a frame in a few minutes so the frames are right here but before we get to the frames i'll show you something else that i got so i have this artificial plant that i got from nawal center it goes at a, i think it costs to uh 850 shillings yeah i removed the sticker but it cost 850 shillings so and i kind of broke it when i was bringing it home that's why it's a little bit shaky so i tried fixing here it by putting some glue but it thinks anything so i'm going to like it does have a green top here so you see i tried to put some stones so that it stays uh, still but i'm going to add other pebbles i mean pebbles so i'm going to add other pebbles so that i can cover the green top and also like support the plant i always go for uh, like uh, artificial plants because keeping the natural ones it's very hard for me to maintain them they'll die in my house and I don't want that energy in my house when I'm killing plants. So I'll just add some pebbles on top. It kind of looks better with the pebbles because the jar, I mean, what do you call this now? The holding can is also white. So I'm just going to add more pebbles and voila, let's see how it looks. I feel like it looks much better and I'm dropping a lot of pebbles in the house. Okay, so this is how it looks. And I feel like it looks much better than the green top. So plus I'm just going to place it somewhere where I won't be like uh, moving it a lot. So it doesn't need much 
support. So that is my artificial plant. So I need to wipe my hands because the papers are a little bit, bit dusty. So and then I have this scented candle that I got from Nawal Center. It goes at a cost of 800 and I mean 280 shillings. Sorry about that. So it's a scented candle. It has like a very calm scent. It's not too much. It's not so loud. I don't like scents that are like choking strong. So this one is very silent and calm. For 280 shillings, for such a nice, uh, with such a hanging, uh, I mean, such a nice holder. I don't know what I'm going to do with these holders once the candle is up, but they look calm and cool to have them in the house. So I'll also get others, but this one, <clears throat> And they also have some that have other scents like lavender and but i just got this one because the scent is so calm and beautiful so and i also got um this which is uh, like those refill perfumes so i wanted to put this uh in my diffuser so i don't know whether it will these uh, perfumes are, supposed, are the same thing that you put in these diffusers but I'm just going to put it here this one is for my living room I'll just put these perfumes here and then see what difference it makes I think I got this this perfume is a uh, pink chiffon if I'm not wrong yeah and it smells so nice I hope it makes I hope it works in the diffuser because I can't wait to like have to come to my house smelling the way this perfume smells like it's so beautiful so I'll just transfer this perfume in the diffuser. Let's see it work, if it works. Uh, you're supposed to like put these ones inside, give them some time, and then you like interchange them. The top goes to the bottom. And then I think, uh, so this stuff usually like uh, pull up the perfume and then it diffuses it into the house. It kind of works amazingly. Let's just give them some time to settle in. So the other item that I got was this mat. So it's also, you can use it as a yoga mat because it's usually very soft. But I just wanted to put it like uh, next to my bed. So this is what it looks like. It has a very nice and calm pattern. You can actually, I'll actually be using it to do my morning stretches on it because it's like very smooth and not rough like normal carpets. So Oops, I also got it in our center. They sell a meter at uh, 400 shillings, so if you want to grab one, you can always do so. And then finally, I have these uh, picture frames. So I'm going to install, I know it's going to be hard, but I have to try as much as I can to, perfect, to perfectly put the ads into these frames. I was given a guide by the person, by those people who sell frames on how to put their picture ads into the frame, and I hope like I achieve everything that I'm doing. So this is just an A4 size. Uh, picture frame i usually remove this stuff here because i get my fundi to drill the back and then we can hang it on the wall without this stuff it's a little bit um, old-fashioned i'm just going to like remove these nails at the back it's amazing i already have a prius in the house i also use it as a hammer it's everything it's like a multi-purpose tool in this house so i'm going to remove these nails that are usually at the back so that i can uh, fit the uh, the art inside so let's see. Oh. Okay, so it does have with the uh, cover at the back, and then this is to like uh, support. So, and then there's a mirror right here. So, I'm going to wipe these ones because they are a little bit dusty and I need it to be like sparkling clean. So let's start with this one because the other one has decided to fall down. So I'm going to place this one right here in the middle. Let's see how it looks from the front. I'm trying as much as I can to place it uh, right so i'm going to they do have like a small margin right here down even if i don't know whether you can see there's a white margin there considering that i'm going to place this white top at the back it's going to compensate the top which does not have the white thing so 
there i think it's more in a place i don't know whether you can see but so and then i'll flip it over so that i can put this carton which is supposed to support the picture from falling out and then return these nails so let's see I don't know if they can trace back even where the holes are. Push back the nails. That one is done. And then the bottom one. The oh. I hope I didn't move the picture because that would be crazy going back to do this. For the courtesy of the video, I couldn't show you throughout the process, but it took me around 15 minutes to be done with the five of them. Here's the end product of my little project. They came out amazing. I thought it would take me a lot of time to like fix them, but it was just a few minutes. I have an extra frame that has remained, so I'll just get another piece of art done so that I can fix it. Then there can be six of them. They turned out amazing anyway. The next thing we need to do is like tidy up the bed because it's usually like the centerpiece of the bedroom. So we need to change the bed sheets and uh, the pillowcases, which I do very often, especially when I've done my hair because they get oily and the hair oil when it touches my face it makes me have acne and then we're going to wipe the bed the headboard and the footboard because it's like next to my window so it gets dusty so then we are going to put a cover on top i usually just place it there just to make the bedroom look more bright even if i don't use it to cover myself at night it's usually very hot and then put the pillows on the bed in a certain pattern that makes it more uh, impressive other than just throwing the pillows on top of the bed so that it looks more tidy so on the other side i'm just going to i usually have this like uh it's a piggy foot warmer but I don't use it because Mombasa is already hot. So I'm just going to wipe this. I'm not going to show you what is inside because it's most likely very disorganized. But I'm just going to wipe this. So there's nothing much that we're going to be doing with this side of the wall because I wish it to remain uh, a little bit calm. So I'm going to push these uh, storage drawers to the corner so that I can hang my big mirror on this wall because there's direct light coming from there and it's very convenient for me to take selfies because the background is just my bed and I don't have big, uh, I mean, uh, a big space where like I can put anything I wish to put anywhere I want to push it. So I'm just going to push this one at the corner. So I wish to have like a small mirror where I can be using to do my makeup but I will do that at a later date but for now I'm just going to make So I'm going to push my mirror right here So this is where I'm going to be putting my mirror because as it, it does not have a lot of disruption the background is just my bed which makes sense because it's in the bedroom and then there's a window right there behind me So let me just work the mirror because it's a little bit dirty so it's not that much of a big change that I was doing, but it kind of already uh, creates like a very nice vibe, especially the white sheets are like brightening up the place. And by the way, all these sheets and those pillowcases, they're all from Congoya Market because I'm a thrifter and I like Mtush stuff. They're better quality than buying new ones. So and then the ads that I made, I'm going to get them placed on that wall. I'm still waiting for my fundu to come and drill them because I, don't, I want them professionally done other than like knocking nails on the wall and then create a maze. So that's it for today. I'll show you once we get the ads placed on the wall. So finally my fundi made it the next day to help me put the ads on the wall. So I couldn't film him when he was like drilling the hooks on the wall. But anyway, I usually remove the official hooks that come on the frame because I don't prefer it that way. But if you want to keep them and use them to hook them on the wall, feel free to do so. But it is my preference not to have them. So you have to be very careful because the ads, the front part is usually glass. So you have to be very cautious. You don't want them uh, to keep moving because they're going to break if they fall. 
you guys should feel free to leave your comments down below tell me what you feel about the arrangement of done with the room and the art if you want to grab any of those pieces including the ones that i've done in my living room if you've not watched my living room video i'm going to link it down below if you want to grab any of those ads feel free to holler at me on my instagram page so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have not subscribed to this channel i don't know what you're waiting for but i'll be waiting for you to do that so that you can watch my next videos until so i love you so much good night